because of this stuff right here. You never know it's gonna come around that corner. Oh no! What is up everybody? Dan Dan the Fireman here. We're about to go watch this MotoStars crash video. We're gonna learn quite a bit from this, so let's jump right into it. Yuki Kawasaki Kakan Wayne. The biker is really lucky that he wasn't riding directly behind this truck driver. Oh, don't never ride behind construction work or any landscapers. Uh, anything that can fall off a trailer. I hate riding behind trailers. Uh, care Whoa! Tire blew out. Good job. You can't do much about it. Go ahead and swerve out of the way. Good job when it came to that red stage maneuver by just honestly moving over one lane position. So truck cut off the biker lane splitting hit him. So slow it down 40 miles an hour. Okay, if you cannot slow down at 40 miles an hour or swerve out of the way while lane filtering, you should not be lane filtering at that speed, okay? We have to make sure we ride smart and we plan our ride. So wrong way driver on SR522, here we go. So wrong way driver, uncommon thing in a common situation, get out of the way, holy sh- Whoa, break, 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 break. Good job finding that escape path. He planned his ride really well, located that hazard. Absolutely insane. You're not gonna see that quite a, quite often, but swerve onto the shoulder if you need to. Riding home on the 405 freeway. Okay, nighttime, lots of hazards. Oh, hit it bump, hit something. So he's gonna start sliding. Now it's time to rescue another rider after a crash. So watch out, ensure your own safety. We're on the interstate. He's walking around, so that's a good thing. That means he's uh, at least have blood flow and circulation. All right, so sometimes crashes happen on dirt bikes just cause, right? So we're going around a blind corner, so we have a terrible line of sight issue, and that's exactly what happened here. It looked now we dump the bike. It's moving too confidently in the middle of the road, which forces the biker to react in a panicked way. Yep, so it was a panic break, so we had a little bit of a brown stage. We fell before even hitting the, the vehicle, so we had to layer down. Uh, there's not much we could do, but remember, blind corners, we should be in orange stage prepped and ready for something. Never go around it. Remember, haunted houses creeping around corners, be very careful. There's be Freddy Krueger around that corner. Actually, not really, because he's in your dreams. So it might be Mike Myers. No, Michael Myers, not Shrek. Now he's blaming us. Yeah, okay, whatever. When Miami drivers drive in Texas, wrong side of the road during heavy traffic. Okay, so watch out. Our lane is wide open. We got headlights right in front of us. Be very careful. I would pull off, too. I would pull off. Now, okay, now it's like, okay, let's go ahead and move. Don't, don't get in front of him. Now you can... You're not blocking traffic, but hey, as long as we're safe, as long as we're safe, we did what we needed to do. Surprise is able to stop in time with that Harley Sportster. They tend not to have any ABS or any type of electrical aids. 97 black, okay, watch out. We got grooves in the road and we had wet, a wet road. Make sure our tire's in good condition. We have good tread, because last thing we want to do is hydroplane on like half an inch of water. So Thumperman Moto Vlogs, here we go. Slow down before the turn, just because oh, we're about to- He crashed, terrible. That, his buddy crashed, slow down before the turn. Remember, you have to adjust your speed. You might be going too fast. Just might be going too fast. Now, can we rescue him? Does he need to be rescued? I hope not. So he's standing up walking, musculoskeletal system's working. I don't think he might have a tr uh, TBI, but you have to always be careful. Always figure out what the mechanism is. So that long crash into the side of the wall or this berm, you could have left side injuries easily. So that's where a lot of that problem will be is the left side. Oh, he launched. For, yeah. And he hit this. You good, brother? Could have been a lot worse. I was right behind you. I think. Could have been a lot worse. Hey, <laughs> dude. So remember to remain calm, ensure your own safety, stop any major bleeds if you need to. And then right here, check for these symptoms. All right, you could have paused it. Anyways, almost crap. The biker is forced to take the- Go ahead, teach the class. Faster and learns quite a valuable lesson. Go ahead. Go ahead, teach the class. All right, passing on a double yellow, but not able to navigate that corner. Woo, gotta check your pantalones on that one. Okay, we should not be passing people if we can't even make corners very, very well. Go. Yeah, mm-hmm. Be very careful. Yeah, start to slow it down, double check, take that as a close call so you don't have a crash. Barry Stanton, interesting motorcycle. Is this a Goldwing? Feels like I'm I'm watching him in Judge Dredd. 
Alright, so Itachi, here we go, moving around here, going pretty fast around a blind corner. Watch out for an incoming traffic. Oh, we got a nice little hairpin thingy thing. And we went off road because we are dual sport motorcycles. We can handle it. Be very careful. You never know what's going to come up around those corners. We should be in orange stage on corners. So when you're on the mountain, be prepped and ready for anything. I went down on the motorcycle on the first cold and slippery day. Oh, tires might be cold. Maybe slam the brakes. Let's see what happens. Is he just going to lose straight up traction on the turn? So it might be a wet road. Oh, that was straight up traction loss. Nothing, black ice. Nothing you could have done. So as a smart rider, you're going to acquire and use personal protective equipment. So just like a trapeze artist with a net, you don't plan on falling. You plan on using your skills to stay up on the trapeze. But if you do fall, it's nice to have that net. So as a motorcycle rider, it is nice to have that gear just in case. So nothing you could have done. It was black ice. Okay. That sucks. So lift it up so you don't hurt your back. All right. Highly unliked. Oh, that's not nice. Why'd you name that? Just... I'm just looking for you, bro. Put the side stand down. Is he going to drop it? Ah, how did I know that? <laughs> Usually, like, when people are parked like that. Yeah, you did. Side stand. So cognitive uh, impairment could be. You know, after a long ride, you're like, what's going on? Bloop, fell over. Side stands are very important. Yeah. <laughs> beginner, beginner mistake. We do talk about that on Motorcycle Training Concepts as a beginner mistake. So check out that channel. Hopefully he's got sliders and engine... Oh, never mind. I lost the mirror. My whole mirror off. It's all good. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. That's not going to go back on. No. Just super glue it. Maybe some... Uh... <laughs> Some gum would work. Oh, I won't forget the whole stand. I'm trying yeah. to the side and forget the whole stand. Yeah. There we go. Uday's 00001. See that the BMW driver indicates. Watch out for merging issues. Here the illusion that speed hump pass him safely on the right. Okay. Maintain that space cushion. Maintain that space cushion. Very important to maintain it because of this stuff right here. You never know what's going to come around that corner. Oh, no. <laughs> Why don't be so impatient to pass people? Don't be so impatient to pass people. Just, you know, stop. We're, we're going to go back to that one. You know, I don't care, class. We're going to go back to that one. This is very important because motorcycle crashes happen for a lot of dumb reasons, and this is kind of one of them. So don't be impatient. Let them decide what they want to do. These brake lights indicate that they're making a decision. Yeah, he's making a decision to slow down because the other vehicle is turning. We can't, we can't assume. Stop assuming. So he still has brake lights. It looks like he's going along that way. So why are we trying to pass? Just wait until they make a full-on decision. Now, at this point, we should have been in orange stage already. So when we're in orange stage, we're already covering those brakes because we saw the brake lights. We're, we're getting closer. The space cushion is getting diminished. So we're already covering those brakes. So our perception and reaction should be really good right now. And that is what? Total stopping distance? Where's the, where's the button? All right. So total stopping distance right here. Perception, reaction, braking. So the moment you squeeze, adding all those equals total stopping distance. Perception and reaction takes about a second or two. We're already there. Now we can go ahead and do it. It's not speed either. We waited. Look at the moment he perceived. Let's watch. Look at, Look at his hands. So on the bottom... You see his hands not on any levers. Okay, so we're about to perceive, and I think he perceived because the tires were turned like that. So a couple seconds later, or not seconds later, milliseconds later, now we are squeezing. That is the reaction. Look at where we're at now. Imagine if we can have our hands already kind of like this, at least the brake back there. We would have removed this amount right here. This is our total. Now we have braking distance. We have to stop within this. Not enough time. Not enough time. So this right here, we are in red stage. We have to do something. And uh, it looks like we didn't do enough because we need to prep beforehand. As a smart rider, you're constantly prepping by recognizing hazardous situations. You're always recognizing that. You're hot? I'm so sorry, man. Plan your ride. Plan your ride. Righteous Dan, here we go. Oh, buddy crashed on the ground. Are we going to rescue him? Yeah, no, he's too busy trying to get back on because it's embarrassing as hell. Get on the sidewalk. I guess, as an escape path. Now get back off. There we go. There we go. Ooms, ooms, YZF. We have a left turner in front of us, or right turner. Spock! Good job on the progressive brake pressure. 
That's what saved you, not the horn. Doing, man. I would do the same thing. I'd call him out too, but I'd make sure I was in a safe spot. Ah. Uh, don't do this in front of businesses. It just looked like a turd bucket. And now you have no skin on your knees, and your hand just got ripped up. To see a little bit, just that little bit in a parking lot, and his hand is tore up. Imagine going 60, 70 on the interstate. Yeah, we got it on camera. So now we can post it on Moto Stars, Moto Madness, and and my channel, by the way, which uh, we do these live streams every Friday. So Z40, 400 NJ Rider. So he's going a decent speed. Is there gonna be a deer? There it is. Good job on not panicking. He did a good job with the progressive brake pressure. Let's put that on the screen too. Red stage, progressive brake pressure. Okay, orange stage, we gotta be prepped and ready. Tr no turn sign, whatever. Intersections are automatic orange stage, no matter what. No matter what. Imagine <laughs> hey, what are you doing? This there we go. Foz box. Can oh. do all cold things and I line of sight. That's the brakes. Cause the uncommon thing. Oh doggy! Move, move. Now go. Go, 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 go. Juke them. So slow it down. You couldn't judge it. Now you accelerate. No. But it's, I know. I understand it's kind of hard because you have. Uh, oh, we're gonna double check them. Okay. What's going on, doggo? I'm glad he didn't get hit. All right, we're gonna save the doggy. One of the big problems with doing this is dogs just run away from strangers. So you gotta be very careful with that. Very careful, because then you could actually have them run after or away from you into the road and get hit. Yeah. Ugh. See, nice lady. Nice lady. Hey, lady. Yeah, absolutely. Do you remember that? Thanks for watching till the end. Oh, that was it. Hope you enjoyed it. See I did enjoy it, uh, Moto Stars. But guys, if you like to watch this kind of stuff live, make sure you join us every Friday. And if you want to know and get the notifications, click that join button. That join button allows you to become a member. Become a rookie member. It's only $2 a month. It helps out the channel. But go ahead and take a seat. We're going to watch another video. Boom. If you like today's video make sure you click this video right here to keep watching more but if you want to become a smart rider click this and grab this smart rider basic training ebook it's going to help you become a smart rider by planning your ride rescuing other riders knowing what patterns to look for and so much more make sure you grab it link will be in the description also i'll be seeing you around